welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul this grocery haul is all keto um, since we are restocking our pantry we're doing a little bit of restock or we're restocking our fridge and freezer we're doing a little bit of restocking slowly restocking the meats but we are stocking it with everything keto so just a little quick story last night you know we just got back home on Monday and um, I woke up probably about 4.30 this morning and the power was out again. And I was like, oh my God, I just got all those groceries. I cannot have the power go back out, but it did come back on. Um, I'm not really sure how long it was off, but everything seemed to be in good working order. Uh, we checked out in the garage to make sure that the garage freezer was still fine. And so everything looked good. So I just want to share with you the things that I was able to get from Harris Teeter. Let me share this. I'm a still a little bit just kind of distracted in my thinking. And I do need to sit down and really go through my sales and figure out where I can get the best deals. I was only able to use two coupons today, but I still think I got some really good deals. So let me share with you what I got. So the Sargentos, this is their um, natural cheese. This is a sliced cheese. This was on sale two for $6.00. And I did have 75 cent off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So I got each of these for $1.50. So half price, I got them for $3 for two instead of two for $6. I picked up another thing of eggs, two and a half dozen of the grade A large eggs. And we go through a lot of eggs on keto. So I always like to keep eggs stocked and I like to make egg muffins ahead. And we do those um, 20 or so at a time. So I like to keep eggs on hand. One stock up item we got this week was cheese. This is shredded cheese. I know you can shred your own. I just don't have time for that. So I get it in the bags. They were $1.29. So we got three mozzarella. We got four mozzarella. Because we do a lot of fat head pizza dough um, for bagels or for pizzas. And we got one sharp cheddar. I probably should have got two sharp cheddars and three mozzarellas. And then a nacho. So... Oh, maybe I got a Parmesan. I think I got a Parmesan. Oh, yeah. One Parmesan. I probably should have got two cheddars because we use that quite a bit. Um, we got some of the Simply Clear Waters. Oh, the Sparkling Waters. We got a couple of those. They were, this was 59. These were 80 cents a piece. Veggies were on sale this week. Um, the Steam Fresh Veggies were 10 for 10. So I got four bags of broccoli. The cauliflower was $1.49, but I got two bags of those. And then the onions were $0.99. Cent. We like these in egg muffins. We also like these in sausage balls and just for general cooking purposes. Of course, on keto, I don't eat as many onions as I used to. So I just put a little bit just for flavor. I am going to do some loaded broccoli and cauliflower today. So I'm going to use some onions in that. Uh, the Hormel, these are pork tenderloins. They were on sale, buy one, get one free for $8.99. So I picked up two of those. I think I'm going to do a roast, the Mississippi roast. But I'm just going to use tenderloins. So I think I'll do one of these, maybe two. I'm not real sure. The bacon was a stock up sale this week. Premium bacon from Harris Teeter was $1.99. You can't find bacon for $1.99. So I actually ended up getting five packs. I spent $10 on bacon. And I could probably spend $10 on one pack of bacon, just depending on what pack it is. Even going to Costco, this was still the cheaper this week. And I may even go back and get more. Because we use a lot of bacon and you can't find this price hardly ever. So it is on sale for the next week. And then um, Super Doubles is actually starting in a couple of days. So I'm going to be looking at my sales to see what I can stock up to donate to area food pantries. And the kids are doing a um, food shelter project at Taekwondo because a lot of people just are in need and of course some of those items I'm no longer using but I did have some coupon friends who sent me coupons and so if I can get stuff for the local food pantries or that we could use here then we're going to go back out and probably try to pick up a few of those items so I'm thinking strongly about going back for some more bacon I'll decide and let you know one thing of whipping cream I got some of this sugar-free uh, coffee mate this is the uh, Italian sweet cream that's one of my faves we picked up this ragu classic uh, roasted garlic parmesan 
uh, Alfredo sauce. It's only three grams of carbs per quarter cup. And I use about a half a cup for a whole meal for me and the kids. This um, Harris Teeter Natural Peanut Butter, it only has peanuts. So uh, roasted peanuts and salt is all that's in here. They were on sale two for three dollars, so I picked up four of those. Three without nuts or three creamy and one with nuts. Picked up two spa paper towels, they were 49 cents each. I got some Mount Olive Sweet Relish, no sugar added for some chicken salad. Now the kids asked for this, I'm not eating this. This is a butter spread, not butter. This is a pumpkin spice because we made the keto bagels. So of course Jackson went with me to the grocery store and he asked for this and I said, sure, no problem. Picked up one more thing of salted butter for the freezer. Picked up two things of the plain cream cheese spread. They were $1.99. A little bit more expensive than Aldi at $1.50, but I didn't want to go to another store, so I picked those up. And then I was able to find this Highlands Crest Cream Cheese. And um, this was $0.99. Cents. Aldi's is $0.79, cents, but I didn't want to, again, go to another store, so I kept this. They had the Lily's Bacon Chocolate Chips. We got those and a bacon bar. But, you guys, look at this. They ended up having the little individual bars that Shelly from Shelly's Home Life has shared. Um, and we picked up these at Whole Foods the other week. And um, I didn't want to go to another store. So I was great glad to see these. Some of these were two for six or three dollars each. And one of them was three ninety nine. But being that I didn't have to go to another store, I was happy to pick these up. A little bit of a splurge for sure. But they're the dark chocolate or the extra dark chocolate. And my kids won't eat this. So this will last me for a good long while. And I didn't have another store to go to. I picked up one rotisserie chicken because I'm going to do this for lunch. And then have some for dinner. And um, it was $4.99 on sale. And then I picked up a bag of the all natural chicken wing sections to do the garlic parmesan chicken wings that Shelly also shared. Because we did those while we were at uh, the Beavers and they were delish. The kids loved them, everybody loved them. So I'm gonna do those again. So stay tuned with me as I share with you my weekly grocery haul. <laughs> thinking for the meal plan um, of course Sunday we did grocery shopping to come home uh, Monday we came home that was an all-day event that took us all day uh, Tuesday was a um, cleaning cleaning day for us and that took um, half the morning so I don't even think we really ate dinner last night. It just wasn't something that just wasn't on our list of things to do. So the kids ate. I think we had, yes we did, we had leftover hamburgers from, we did hamburgers. We did hamburgers in a bowl. And then we just had leftovers here. That's what we had. I remember having that. So starting today moving through Saturday what I did was I put my grocery list here and I didn't have a grocery list prior to going because I didn't know what was going to be on sale at my store I didn't know how it was going to be stocked it's pretty stocked up really well post storm um, their meats looked way better than at Walmart so I just picked up normally I would go and get um, markdown meats but because they're just restocking everything. Uh, Harris Teeter didn't even have markdown meats. So I just picked up a couple meats that I 
could and then what I already had in the freezer from uh, being with Amanda from the fundamental home and I will put a little portion the only clip I was able to get um, of us sh uh, our trip together I'll put it at the end of this video uh, just so you could see that we actually did get to hang out with each other it was really good it was just really a bonding time it wasn't we can always vlog another time because I'm sure we'll see each other now that we you know have connected I think we're, we're gonna be okay so um, what I did was I wrote down the grocery list after I got back so that I would know what I have on hand and now that I know what I have on hand and in my freezer one of the positives about doing the restock is it makes doing my inventory much easier because now I'm able to look at what I do have and I don't have so much stuff that I don't know what I have I have just enough things that I can log and inventory what we do have so that's a positive so I'm thinking about uh, the rotisserie chicken we're gonna eat for lunch but then what we're gonna do is we're going to have some of it for lunch then some for dinner but I'm also gonna do loaded cauliflower and broccoli to go with that, and I think I'm gonna make that a lunch because we do have Taekwondo tonight and I'm gonna do my class. So this is gonna be our main meal, will be our lunch, and it's already after one, so we're having a late lunch. It's probably gonna be about two o'clock before we have lunch, and I actually haven't eaten today at all. Um, for Thursday, I'm thinking about sheet pan chicken, or I could do the seared scallops with the sherry beurre blanc sauce. That comes from Craveable Keto, page 222. But instead of scallop, I have shrimp. So I'm gonna think about subbing in the shrimp for the seared scallop so I could have either the sheet pan chicken or the seared scallop. And I'm thinking more something easy because I have to go to get my teeth cleaned in the morning, then I have a doctor's appointment, then one of the other kids has an allergy appointment and Alana has allergy shots. So this is a busy day for us. This is a busy day and I need something I can either put in the crock pot or something I don't have to deal with and I actually may change the pork tenderloin to Thursday because then I don't have to, to deal with it I could just put it in the crock pot and it will be done um, Friday we're gonna do the fathead pizzas and then we're gonna do the garlic parmesan wings that we really like so I think that's Friday and then for Saturday if I move the pork tenderloin up here then I'm just going to change that and put the sheet pan chicken here so I think I'll do sheet because I have more time to get my chicken cleaned and all of that the things I really like to do so this is what I think we're doing for this week um I'll have a better list going for next week I'm actually gonna flip over and do some prep aheads make myself some notes because I did some prep aheads already yesterday we took some time to do that and I'm really liking this um, meal planner simply because it just works in my brain that I can actually, it, however my, my brain is working, I can write things out. We did um, egg muffins. We did bacon. We did sausage balls. Um, we did jam. We did bagels. Um, what else did we do ahead? Those were a couple of things that we did ahead. So those are already in my brain as far as what we did for this week. Then I can think, you know, what, a, what am I going to prep ahead for next week? And then um, I can see what we do all of the time. One of the other things that I'm going to do is we're just gonna do one dessert treat okay you guys so what I'm thinking about is um, trying to just do one dessert this week I think Shelly just does one dessert a week at least from her videos that's what it appears and the kids and I I do I have a sweet tooth so I'm going to either make fat bombs or something that I can have and where I'm not making so many treats because I do want to lose weight. So I am about seven weeks on keto and I've not lost weight. I feel good. Um, 
my, I feel better than I have felt in months, but I've not lost weight. I've lost inches, but I haven't lost weight. So while this is not all about the weight, I would like to see some weight moving. So what I think I'm do is just one treat a week. I am gonna do the um, chocolate milkshakes that I've seen Miss Erica show on her channel. I do have, I now have the almond milk. We have uh, cocoa powder and what else did she use? Sweetener, whatever. Uh, but I have all the ingredients for that. And so I'm going to track all of my macros, which is what I'm doing. I started yesterday. So yesterday, which was the 25th, is actually going to be my week one start over for keto. Now, I've stayed keto the whole time. I haven't had anything that I wasn't supposed to have on the keto plan. My thing that I think is happening is I'm still more low carb than I am keto, which means I'm going over the 20 carbs a day but staying under 50 carbs a day. So I'm trying to get to the 20 carbs or less, which makes me keto and I'm gonna try that and just make sure I'm tracking all of my macros for a little while, at least until I start seeing some weight move. And so anyway, I did just um, turn to this uh, Simply, Simply Keto book. I got this from the library, so if you're trying keto, you don't have to buy the books, cookbooks. I just went to the library and checked this out, and if I, whenever I have to turn it back in, I'll just check it out again or put my name back on the list. But for the sheet pan chicken, she has a recipe in here called chicken and broccoli alfredo bowls. So I think there's enough of the chicken thighs that will be left that I can take those leftovers and make this chicken and alfredo bowl. So this may go into next week's. Um, it may be a Sunday meal because I'm going to do sheet pan chicken on Saturday. So this may be my Sunday meal for using those leftovers. So we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to do meal planning around the things I have in the house or what I was able to buy from the grocery store. Instead of just planning first and then shopping, I want to shop first and then plan. So kind of backwards a little bit, but it's work, it works for me. And that way I can shop sales. So anyway, that's what we're doing for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel and we'll see you next grocery haul. Bye now. everybody welcome back so we are headed out to get some deals we want you to be excited because i'm excited look who's here there's amanda from the fundamental help shut oh. all the way up shut up y'all okay really so this is goals right goals now my next person i have to meet is sarah from my tribe of many but whatever you know she's somewhere down the line but we're going to get our deals we're going to let you know what deals we get at the discount grocery store stay tuned